Hey, what's up guys? This is Water Geek. Welcome to Let's Play Beautiful Joe. New walkthrough in the walkthrough corner. This will be completely and totally not com not post-commentated, meaning that I'll be doing this in real time. Um, okay, I guess I'm done introducing things. Uh, but I'll talk about the game once I get in there. If I'm playing the game the first time, you, you're able to play as one of the other characters, but I'm not going to be playing as it. Uh, her. I'm going to be playing as Joe himself, so let's just get this started. Hinch and a go-go, baby! idea of a date movie? I had a more romantic time eating popcorn in the lobby. Joe, honey, oh, why don't you show me some off-screen action? Whoa, 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 <laughs> Sylvia! <laughs> cut it out! <sighs> I said cut it out! They don't show these old movies all the time, you know. I've been looking forward to this forever. Well, I've been looking forward to this for a long time, too. We haven't been out on a date in forever. Hey, hey, stop that! <laughs> this is the best part <laughs> I have won. The dark side prevails. Now you have seen just how flimsy your sense of justice is, Captain Blue. Now I will listen. The world is mine. <laughs> Go away. Come on. And thus, Captain Blue was brought to his end. Goodbye, beautiful world. Nothing will ever be the same. Oh, man. I missed the most important part. Hey, I've seen this scene before. You know why? Because this flick hit the screens way back when we were still little babies. But that guy in the blue mask. I know I've seen him some... Whoa! The girl is mine! and shall serve as the object 
of my revenge! Wow, that was unreal! What the heck? Hey! Hey! What's going on? Let go of me! Don't do something! What? Well, what's happening? It's six machine. Am I... am I in, inside the movie? Correct, my young friend. I am Captain Bloom. I am no longer able to fight because I have been defeated. You must take my place as the new action hero. That voice, it, it really is Captain Blue! Wow! Hey, can I get your autograph? No, I am already gone. I beg of you to take up the torch of justice, young movie lover. Now go. The world is in danger. Your lady friend is waiting for you. Cool. A real V-Watch. <laughs> I always wanted to try one on. Two. And so we start into Beautiful Joe. Whoa! Tutorial! Saw that one coming. Here's what, here's an example, excuse me, of evading attacks. Your enemies will either attack your feet or attack your upper half. And once you do that, you stun them. Um, and then that earns you V points, we'll get, get into that a little later. So, if you see a skull aiming at your feet, hold up on the control stick to avoid, to jump over it. If they're attacking your, um, you know, upper half. If they, if you see a skull aiming towards your head, duck, and you'll uh, avoid them. So, anyway, basic controls are as follows: you jump with the A button if you're using Type A setup. I don't know about the other types, but uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. Y, pressing Y will let you punch. Hitting it multiple times will let you attack in succession. There you go. Same thing works with kicks. Kicks are executed with the X button, and then you can also uh, chain punches and punches and kicks. That punches and kicks together, excuse me, by pressing Y, X, Y, X, Y, X multiple times. The shoulder buttons don't do anything at this point in the game, so you can just do whatever. You can do whatever they, you want with them right now. They won't do a thing, so nothing happens. And, okay, so you also have an uppercut, which you, if you hold down and punch, you get to uppercut them, so you can juggle them if you want. Then you can do a, a sweep with down and kick. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, let's just go back and go into the real game. Now, when you're stunned, when you stun an opponent, when it, you stun an enemy, these are the Jado, by the way, when you stun one of these guys, and then, um, and then you attack them, you earn V-points. Uh, V-points are your currency in this game, so, you think they're coins? Well, they kind of are, but these things I'm collecting right here, these little canisters, these are called, these are called V-coins. Now, V-coins are what earned you, uh, more VFX power, VFX, uh, like, your meter up. You see where my life is, and the little bar that says VFX. That's um, yeah, v the VFX meter. We don't have any VFX abilities yet because we're not, you know, beautiful Joe. We're just regular Joe right now. So um, we don't really, we're not able to do anything with that. We can earn v a lot of V points if we want to. Uh, avoiding enemies. Uh, oops, just missed some V coins. Uh, maybe I can go back for those in a bit. Um. Dodging enemies' attacks will earn you V-points, um, then punching them when they're stunned will earn you V-points. Or punching and kicking them, so... Uh, yeah. If you just attack them normally, then, um, they don't give you as much, um, V-points than if you just dodged them and then got out of the way. Hey, beautiful! What? My young Joe, it looks like you haven't awakened to your true powers as a hero. 
I'll show you how to be a real hero. Come and get me! First mini boss of the game is Captain Blue. As you saw, he was Joe's idol. Now, I am a big fan of Joe, the movie lover Joe, because I can really relate to him. I really enjoy watching movies, and I always wish I was I'm able to be in one, like just to be like a superhero. I also have a few um, people on screen I idolize, but whatever. Ah, your hero has awakened. Now the theme watch is responding to your hero instincts deep down inside. When the theme watch starts to glow, say the word. Henshin! Henshin and don't go, baby! We'll come and get We are now Beautiful Joe. Now if we hold L, we are able to go into slow. With slow, you're able to avoid enemies' attacks, and then when you got them stunned, hold L, punch or kick them, to send them flying. That's one application of the ability of slow. Now you see we actually have power in our VFX meter. Uh, as I said before, slow, and then kick, punch, or whatever you want, and you'll send your enemies flying. Now, you earn a lot of V-points this way. So, bam! And, let's see if I can get it again. Uh, nope. Now, when you get your, if you hold down the shoulder button all the way, um, before, um, it comes back, you, watch, holding down L, slow, Oh damn. So, now we're back to regular Joe temporarily. We have to wait until our VFX meter recharges. Um, can I still get these? I think I can. Alrighty, so, now Beautiful Joe. Beautiful Joe has a double jump as well. So, you come equipped with two new powers that, now that you're Beautiful Joe. Slow and double jump. So, that's... That's very useful. Also, when these guys are in their pirouette mode, normally you can't actually hurt them, so... If you go into slow, then you're able to uh, damage them before they even before you can even stun them. So, boom, bam, boom, bitch. It's a good idea to always hold slow uh, or any of your VFX um, powers as long as you can, um, just so you can see how much um, how much you can actually get out of them. In that, um, you know. More V points. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. Uh, collecting enough V coins, as you see, uh, as you've seen, I just collected 50 V coins. Now my VFX meter has an extra bar added to it, so now I have more time to go slow mode. Mini boss. Three roses in the slot machine, and you got the Joker. This is your first major mini, well, second major mini boss. Uh, he's recurring, but a lot more often than Blue is. Um, Blue is more like the one who's trying to help Joe. So anyway, there's uh, there goes the Joker. Now, as you can see, this slot machine is going way too frickin' fast. If you try to attack it, uh-oh, skull, uh-oh, skull. Oh, wait a minute, I can go slow and see what's coming up. All right, so that's pretty much what you have to do at this point. Uh, oops, I kind of wanted to... See, now it's telling you to, to go slow. What I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to line up three V's. Uh, pink V's. Woohoo! Just wait for my VFX to recharge a little. It's a little less time consuming if you uh, tap the L button and wait, but. Come on. There we go. Alright, next one. You get three. Ra Oops! Ah, damn it. You get three rankings per um, just go for it. Uh, you got your time ranking, and you get you got your time ranking, your viewpoint ranking, and your defense for that state for that area. So if you got hit no times, you got a V, you got an automatic V rating for uh, defense. If you got a lot of V points, then you got uh, ooh, that was terrible. Um, what am I trying to say here? Hold on, let me try. Yep, there we go. All right, now I just gotta wait. As I was saying, uh, you got uh, five different rankings, right? Yeah, five different rankings for um, each section. You got 
D for dope, you got C for crappy, B for bad, A for awesome, and V for beautiful. Um, if you get three, v three beautiful rankings for each respective category, you earn a rainbow V rating. So, um, I don't think that sig signifies anything. If it does, then uh, feel free to correct me if you know. Uh, also, while you're in slow, you're able to avoid enemies' attacks or other things that... Uh, okay, what I'm trying... Get out of here, bitch! Alright. Alright, watch what happens. So he's about to attack me, I go into slow, I immediately dodge him. Whoa. Good thing I avoided that. Bitch! B uh, bitch! There we go. Alright. Next little area, we're in a library. Oh, crap, the door! No! New enemy, this is Bianco Billy. If you go into slow-mo when he attacks you with his gun, you're able to stun him by punching the bolt, his bullet back at him. So, if you go into slow-mo, you're able to actually see bullets that are coming right at you. Oh boy. There we go. Avoid you. Punch you. Slow! Hell yeah! Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Woo! Bitch! Alright. Oh, V-Coins. Didn't see those up there. Yeah, there we go. Bam! Slow, if you go into slow, it maximizes your attack power. So use that to your advantage. A lot of puzzles can be solved by using this. Uh, bombs, which we'll get into later, will explode um, with a bigger blast radius if you use slow before they explode. But like I said, we'll get into that later. All right, these guys, the Verdes, I believe they're called, they have helicopter blades um, as part of their getup. If you slow down time, if you slow down while they're uh, in the air, um, with their helicopter blades, then you'll be able to slow their blades down and be able to um, bring him to the ground. So, normally that guy would be up there, slow him down, and he's now on the ground. So, BOOM! SLOW! Damn it. Alright, get over here. Bitch. There we go. Alrighty. Next little segment over here. What? Alright, so you see that we can now slow down time and... Bring this propeller down to the ground, and in the end, be able to kick or punch that, however you prefer, and let down the chandelier. Chandelier, wee! Let's go! Running across the table, because I'm that badass. Let's do it. Hey, cake. I want the cake now. Damn it. But as we all know, the cake is a lot. I'm, I probably just pissed off on the contributors, if he's watching this. Finished! Yeah, I'm awesome. Alright, more V-Coins. Let's get these. Two more to go, and then we upgrade. Wait, is there? Aw, oh, damn it. Alright. Just go for it. Find the key, find the key. Where's the beautiful key? It's over here! Alright, come on, come on! Yeah! Bitch! Alright. So destroying those uh, statues of the axes, I'm not, I, uh, you probably have seen them already. Um, yeah, those guys. Um, they will yield a hamburger for you, so... Or cheeseburger, excuse me. Uh, cheeseburgers will restore your health, um, if you're, unless you're full. If you're full on health and you eat a cheeseburger, nothing happens. So, bitch, 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 whoa, okay, that was bad, almost bad. Hey, there's a key, there's a key, there's a beautiful key. Oh, well, I stunned him, so, her, it, whatever the hell it is. Alright, got the key, got the key, got the beautiful key, Woo! Bitch, 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 bitch! Alright, so you see, every time you go into slow-mo and, um... There we go. Every time you go into slow and start attacking uh, your enemies uh, before you can dodge them, or, like, dodge their attacks to stun them, uh, you're able to gain what I call V-Juice. Uh, that replenishes some VFX and, uh... can extend it past if you're already full on the meter. Anyway, third mini-boss! This is the Black Thunder. This is a... A recurring boss, um, well, mini boss. He's a helicopter, basically. Basically, no, he really is a helicopter. Now, as you can see, slowing him down will slow down his rotor, his blades, and bring him down to the gr to ground level. When you hear that sound, you you'll notice that he he'll be firing his bullets at you. If you reflect the bullets back at him, which is kind of hard to do, um, then you're able to attack him that way. Otherwise. You can just do this, if I can do it right. Yeah, there we go. Get over here. 
Get did I Aw oh, damn, not good. Woo! I'm gonna wanna get out of the way here. Bitch! Bit okay, come on. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, come on. Uh hitting his his minions into him will actually uh whoa! Damage him a lot more than if you just attack him normally, so do that. Hup! Yeah, there we go. Woohoo! Aw, oh, I wanted to Aw, oh, whatever. Anyway, coming on to the next... Coming on to what? Going into the next section. Let's do it. All right, quick little explanation of what this is. You're able to save your game. So, you got ten little save files. Go ahead and choose whichever you want, overwrite, whatever. I'm not going to talk about that. Power-up. Now, these are where your standard power-ups can be found. Uh, you got your collectible... Your standard collectibles, they always sell for this much. Uh, and then these are your abilities. Sliding, when you press down and kick, rather than doing a sweep kick, you're able to slide along the ground. Air Joe, when you're in the air, uh, and you rapidly press punch and kick, you're able to uh, attack multiple times and add more power to your attack. Or, you know, beautiful. Uh, red Hot Kick, pressing down and kick while in the air will let you do a, uh, a falcon kick of sorts. Basically, you just shoot down at an angle and attack anyone in your path. Mock Speed, we'll talk about this later when we actually get that ability. Um, so I'll talk about that. Beautiful Forever, we don't have another ability for this to actually benefit us. You, uh, the Ukemi, um, we also don't have an ability, so I'll be talking about that. VFX Turbocharger, Re highly recommended to get this early on. I s it's very useful. As you can see, we only have 12,000 uh, V points. If we get 30,000, which I usually get by the end of the second chap uh, episode, um, we'll be able to do that uh, and get that, and our VFX will be able to um, recover at double the rate. So, and this is a life, this gives you an extra hit point, or a life as they call it in this game. Then they got the life is beautiful, which always confuses me. This is a life, this is a life, same damn thing. Uh, take two, uh, if you have this equipped, uh, and then you die, like if you lose all your hit points, um, then you just immediately regain all of them and try, and you're able to try again. So, that's pretty useful, especially if you're struggling in the game. So, move on, let's do it. Starting things off here, you're able to see our V-Watch is glowing. Now you can see that there's uh, water dripping. Boring! Alright, I'm just gonna go on ahead really quick. Okay, barrels. Where are you, bats? Come on. Okay, these mother trucking bats. I swear these guys are gonna get in my way. It's kinda hard, oh, damn it. Okay, that was kinda good. Kinda hard to hit these guys to, as well, so. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, da, da, da. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Almost got you, almost got you. There we go. Alright, let's move on. It's hard to get a good uh, V-point rating for this, but it can work. Alright. Back over here. Our V-watch is glowing. What does that mean? Slow down time. What the fudge? Boom! All right, so now that switch is activated and that gate is open. Now let's run. Jump over the barrels. Not a big problem. Not a big problem. At all. Okay, that one scared me. Hey, a V coin missed that one. Do 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 do. Made it. Slick. Damn it. All right, enemies over here. Just want to collect these V coins first. Yahoo! More VFX. Alright, this Verdi will drop, um, bombs, so, be careful. Yeah, bombs in this game. If they hit you while you're not in slow, you, um, you get hit by the explosion. Uh, whoops. Just get you out of here, sucker. Oh, God. He's back in the air. There we go. Woo! That kind of hit my, uh... Garage Band's feedback a bit. Woohoo! Come on, come on, come on! Yeah! Never even saw it come. Damn it. I wanted to hit him. Alrighty, moving on. Can I get everything up here? Looks like it. Alright, mini boss. Joe, it's time for your next trial. Hope you're warmed up, because ready or not, here I come. Second fight with Captain Blue. Now he'll be able to use a red-hot kick of sorts. 
Oh, damn it. There goes my first hit. Alright, same thing as uh, before. Let, make him look, uh, let his defenses down, and then attack him. It's basically the same fight, but now you have uh, Slow at your disposal. With Slow, you're able to attack him, oops, before he uh, reveals himself to lower his own defenses for you. Aw, oh, I could have gotten a Rainbow V. Anyway, now that we have a new ability, hold R to go in mock speed mode. Now, hold punch or kick, and you're able to go in rapid speed. It's not showing very well, but um, what mock speed does, you can attack enemies very rapidly. You can move at a faster speed faster pace, which is actually pretty cool. Combined with slow, you're able to move at a normal speed on ground. Um, in battle, we'll get into that a bit later, so what you want to do here is uppercut the barrel and run right under it with mock speed. So there you go. Now in battle, you, when you use mock speed, you're able to attack, uh, you're able to leave after images that go into the background or into um, other uh, enemies. So you're able to actually hit them that way. You get, it does very minimal damage to others, but you're able to get things in the background, which you can't normally get them. You can't actually get otherwise, so very useful. Um, upgrading mock speed, as you saw in the shop, you're able to um, have more after images appear after you in a shorter amount of time, so that can be very useful. There you go. Alright, so also in mock, while you're in mock speed and attacking things, you're able to set yourself on fire, so that can actually be... That's actually used to solve puzzles later on. Just go for it! Escaping the barrel! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh damn! I missed something! Crap! 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 I want to get some V-points! Run! Aw, oh, man! 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 Ooh! V-points! Coins! Excuse me! Whoop. Come on! Nope! No, 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 come on, come on, no, no, come on, no, no, uh, but yeah, there we go. All right, knocking enemies into V-coins, v as you probably already saw, you'll, they will be attracted to you. So, there you go. That's how I got those V-coins. Excuse me, I got a little bit of a runny nose. All right, that, that does that. Come on. Yahoo! Okay, I'm moving over here. Boing! Did I get him? Sweet! More V coins up over here, and anything up here? Learn her. Okay, okay, that was bad. Bye. Alright, spike barrel this time! What the fudge?! Hey, you, move it. You did it. What?! Oh my god, I wanna get V points. Can't very well. Damn. Well, whatever. All right. Remember how I told you you can set yourself on fire if you go in mock speed and start attacking things? Well, that's what you got to do here. Hold punch or kick, and then you set yourself on fire. Now let light these things on fire. Light them. Light them. Woohoo! Yeah. All right. Let's move on. And here we are at the. First little boss area thingamajig. As you notice, we didn't have a save option. That's because that happens every time uh, you're about to go into a boss. So, just as a forewarning for later. All right. Oh, wait a minute, am I missing a V-coin? Am I missing a V- Oh my god! All right. Ah, let's, not, let's not let bygones be bygones. Let's just start the first boss. That means things always go wrong once before you get to the happy ending. Hello? Now come on. Let's get this over with. Biff, buff, what nonsense he speaks. Come like all the ritual of sacrifice will be giving you a pathetic little world will... Oopsie poopsie. 
almost missed the catch on the blue band there. <laughs> In any case, this has nothing to do with Rick Crab right now. The only thing left for you to do is uh, banish. <laughs> All right. Let's get it on. First boss, Dark, Dark Fiend, Charles III. Now, his main strategy at first, he'll be throwing out some single bladed red scythes of sorts. Uh, you can easily dodge them if you go into slow. Uh, pretty basic stuff there. They fade after a couple of rotations. So when he does this, he'll throw down some uh, stalactites. Knock one into him and then start attacking like crazy. You can use slow down. You can use slow, rather. You can, or you can use mock speed to attack him. Either one works. Also be, be wary of that. If you're slow, you'll be able to avoid that pretty easily. So don't, don't worry about that if you're uh, in slow. All right, let's wait for the VFX. So, okay, bad idea. Whoop! You can duck to avoid that the first time, then you gotta, I think, avoid it some other way. They're also in an isometric view, I guess you can call it. So, you can avoid! That was that was almost bad. Oh, damn, duh, duh, duh. Whoa, boy. Get over here. Oh, God, not good. All right. This thing, I believe, contains either cheeseburger or nothing. All right, whoa boy, multiple sides, not good. Get over here. If you just attack it normally, he'll, uh, oh, bad. He'll uh, disperse into a bunch of bats. Whoop, get over here. Nope, get over here, yeah! Oh, this is you up. You can sleep as much as you want now. Joe wanders into the world of the movies and gallantly fights evil to rescue Sylvia. With the help of his superior strength, he is able to reign triumphant over the dastardly bad man, Charles III. Where could Sylvia be? Is she safe? Is she even alive? Intolerable anxiety tears at Joe's heart. What did they do to her? Hmm, what would be a good hero name for me? I never thought this would be so hard. Searching for Sylvia, Joe tries to track clues as to her whereabouts. Little did he know that the clues would only lead him to more problems. The next episode is Some Like It Red Hot. See you there. All right, so we completed chapter, rather, episode one of Beautiful Joe, Joe the Hero. Uh, see you guys next time for chapter two, Some Like It Red Hot. I keep calling them chapters that are actually called episodes. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time for episode two, Some Like It Red Hot. This is Woody Geek. I'll be seeing you guys later.